In the car world, you have what are referred to as model refreshes. Watch companies do this as well, and it's a way to breathe new life into an already existing model. As with the car, it's mostly cosmetic changes and the underpinnings are pretty much the same. You get new headlights maybe, or a redesigned back end, and an interior upgrade usually. In the case of watches, the case, crown, and movement usually stay the same. This Ocean Crawler Champion Diver is the same as previously offered models, but now has an all new dial and slightly changed hands. It may seem like an easy cash grab, but these new dials are very different from the original, slightly funky, and really do change the aesthetic from the traditional diver style. Let's take a look. As I said, nothing but the dial here has changed on the Champion Diver. It is still the same 44mm case and SW200 movement. The bezel still resembles the Seiko ANA Pilot and the price is still $999. Since I have reviewed this model two times before, I will not go into every aspect of the Champion Diver. Instead, I will link to one of those reviews in the description and here concentrate on the new dial. Three dial choices are available, as I will show on the screen, and I guess you can call them a Fumé style dial, but they're really not Sunray dials. Instead, they are matte dials, which is a little weird as the dial can seem a little flat looking, or maybe stagnant is the word I am thinking. These dials don't catch the light the way I thought they would, but you still do have the lighter blue and white in the middle and the darker blue as it goes outward. As of now, only the gray and red are the other dial colors available, though maybe Ocean Crawler will release more options down the road. The dial layout itself reminded me of something and I could not put my finger on it for a minute, and then it hit me. Eterna Super Contiki. If you take a look here, you can see where the inspiration for this new dial came from. This style of design I have always thought was a funky way to showcase the numbers on a dial, but that is the point. If you want a more traditional, or what we think of as traditional, OC has that with the regular Champion Diver, shown here with the side-by-side, -side, where you can also see the slight hour and second hand change. The only other change is now the Ocean Crawl uh, Crawler logo is metal and applied to the dial, as opposed to just printed. I think applied logos like this look great, so think of it as an upgrade. The loom is still great and with the new dial really does have a fun look in the dark as you can see, though the smallest hour indices under the triangles are not completely coated, so they look a little grainy. It still glows very bright though. As I said, the dial really was the only change, but I thought it was worth a look. I think the Champion Diver has always been a little strange, but strange in a good way. It is an all stainless steel case and rated to 600 meters with a helium valve, but is still not as of yet offered on a full stainless bracelet. It comes with a rubber and leather. And the case design does lend itself to more pilot watch than diver. And now this new dial design makes it stand out even more, but I think that is the point. Let me know what you think of this new dial down in the comment section below. All links will be in the description, including one to Ocean Crawler's website and a written article at watchreport.com. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you are new here, hit that subscribe and notification button so you will never miss any of our new uploads. As always, thank you for watching. I will see you next time.